Hey guys, so today I will be telling you what kind of substrate you can use for a bearded dragon. Hope this and I hope this informational video is in. So to start off with substrate for a bearded dragon, I always start off with the easiest thing, which is paper towels or um, newspaper. Now these could be um, this could possibly be the easiest for you, but you're going to have to clean the cage a lot more than say if you used a bio bioactive substrate. So then, next on the list will be um, reptile carpet, which again, I don't know how well, I know this works really well for leopard geckos, because leopard geckos will always poop in the same place, but that's not the case for bearded dragons. So I don't know exactly how much you're going to have to change this substrate if you use it. I don't even know if it's really counted. I'd, I'd say it's a substrate, um, but I'm not exactly sure if it's really, like, counted as a substrate it's something that you can use at the bottom of the tank then after that you can use eco earth but when you're using eco earth if you're um wait you can, well to start off eco earth is um cocoa fiber which is like the the outsides of coconuts or something like that i'm pretty sure or it's another part of that kind of plant but um so there's like the condensed part uh, there's the condensed like bricks which you can put into water but you're then i have to make sure that's very dry have it air out for a long time before you actually use it in the enclosure because it can't get too humid but i guess you won't have a problem too much if you have a normal tank like that's what i use um but if you had like an enclosed type thing or like a uh I don't know what they're called. It's called like a viewing tank or something like that. Then you're definitely gonna have to make sure those are that's aired out. Or you can just use the normal cocoa fiber that comes in the bag. But I'm pretty sure that's a little bit more expensive, something like that, because like um, the bricks are actually a lot more when it uncondenses. Um, then you can use the cocoa fiber and potting soil. I always think why not just use soil because it doesn't it doesn't make sense not to because the if they I don't know it just doesn't make sense not to but um beware of sand because sand can cause impaction which I think I don't know you might have already seen a video on compaction because I might have done one um I don't know that'd be kind of cool if I did because I I happen to know a lot about it um anyway so yeah, so um, I think it's pronounced compaction. Anyway, compaction is where they ingest the sand and it gets stuck in their stomach and they can end up actually bursting because they can't get like they can't get the um, sand out of their system. So that's why you shouldn't use sand or um, calcium sand or however do you say that. That's also bad because if they're just lo licking calcium sand is cal calcium that's like really small just like sand so if they're looking around they can actually get too much calcium um and they might just not like walking on sand like i i've known um like some animals will just feel uncomfortable on sand and then so you should not also use the uh i think it's walnut shells because if you actually feel those they're really spiky and that can also cause impaction and hurt the animal so then I'm actually going to add, like, a few plants in here. So you can use um, aloe vera, which are really cool, and they'll actually grow, like, more of themselves because they're succulents. And another really good one is, um, I don't I don't know if it like, cactus pads or, like, prickly pear. I'm not sure if there's a difference between those two, um, but those are, like, very edible. Like, I'd probably eat one myself because I don't think it really, like... I've seen tortoises eat it, I've seen bearded dragons eat it, I mean, it's just, it's very, it's very proven to be safe, but I'm not exactly sure if it's called cactus pads or prickly pear, I'm pretty sure they're the same thing. Anyway, I hope this video helped, if it did, like it down below, if you have any comments or concerns, put it in the comments below, and if you want more content, then subscribe. Have a good day, hope you enjoyed the video.